Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. Today we are going to crochet this absolutely beautiful and so very elegant crochet back strap. See how textured it is on all the sides. Have a closer look. On all the sides it has such a texture and form to it. On the ends here I have given this ring structure to give it a finished look when you add it to your bags. And uh, you can use uh, either side to keep for the front. Both the side looks stunningly awesome and it has such a sturdiness to it. Here I have worked it with the Hobby India crochet thread that is 100% acrylic yarn and I have used a double thread to work it to give it this form. You can also use a thick wool as well. So here I have taken the two strands as I have already stated. To begin with work a slip knot like this and begin training. Don't need to count the trains here as uh, your chain length has to be the length of your aimed back strap. So just chain as much as you are aiming for the length of the back strap. So here because I'm aiming for 128 centimeters, so I'll chain it and the length of the train will be then equal to 128 centimeters completely unstretched i have worked all my trains here so then let's begin with the row one <clears throat> to begin with work three trains one two and three this first chain three stands for a dc yarn over insert the hook into the fourth chain from hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops one dc is worked yarn over again insert the hook into the next chain ahead pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through first two loops, then yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops, one more DC is worked. Yarn over, again insert the hook into the next chain ahead, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through first two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops, one more DC is worked, yarn over, work one DC into the next chain ahead. Just the same way. See, we have simply been working one DC into every chain. Simple pattern. In this row, we will just be working one DC into every chain ahead till you reach the end of your chains. Just go all the way and I will see you there. See, I have worked all my DCs. This entire string is ready. Now, I am bringing in a new shade. Here also, I have taken two threads. Put a slip knot here. And then, stretch that loop. We want to simply change the shade in this stretched up knot of the previous color. Simply drag this new shade through it like this and we'll begin working with the new shade here. So then work two chain. This chain two stands for one half double crochet. Turn the work, then yarn over, and we are going to work front post half double crochets. So around the next DC. So here around the next DC, insert the hook from front to back to front around it and pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on the hook, see, then yarn over, pull through all the three loops like this. One half double crochet, front post half double crochet is worked. Yarn over again, insert the hook around the next DC, insert it from the front to the back to the front like this, pull up a loop. Now again you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the three loops. Again one front post half double crochet is worked here. Simple, yarn over again, insert the hook around the next DC the same way, from front to back to front and then yarn over again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three loops on the hook. One more front post, half double crochet is worked. See a texture is getting created here, yarn over, again work one front post, half double crochet around the next DC ahead, the same way. like this simple yarn over again around the next dc work one front post hdc fp hdc like this yarn over again around the next dc work one front post half double crochet the same way Yarn 
see how beautiful it looks let's cut this color one because we don't need it now so here just keep working one fps dc into every dc i had see i've worked all my front post half double crochets into all the dcs of the string and i've reached the end on this end i'm here in the second last dc so grab your hook and uh, yarn over around the second last dc also simply insert the hook from front to back to front and work one front post half double crochet now we have this chain three here yarn over and around this chain three insert the hook and we are going to work simply hdc's so work one hdc around this chain three again yarn over work one more hdc around this chain three like this we have two hdc's worked work one more hdc around this chain three here three yarn over work one more hdc around the same chain three below four yarn over work one more hdc around the same chain three below so here at this end we have worked five hdc's yarn over again and see around the next dc ahead again insert the hook from front to back to front pull up a loop and work one front post hdc again around the next dc work one fp hdc the same way as we did earlier yarn over around the next dc ahead work one fp hdc see this is how it looks on both the sides yarn over around the next dc ahead work one fp hdc front post half double crochet yarn over around the next dc work one fp hdc simple so here again we simply are going to work fps dcs around every dc ahead till we reach the other end so just work it all the way and i'll see you at the end of the string here we'll end it together and create this end together see again i have worked all my fps dcs on this side as well this is how it looks on the other side such a beautiful texture has come up and now in this end again i am here in second last dc let's let's work one fps dc around the second last dc the same way this is the second last dc below and work one fps dc around it and then again we have this dc here yarn over around this dc on this end work five hdc's one two three four and five and having worked five hdc's here around this chain two insert the hook pull up a loop work a slip stitch to join this round here this is how it looks put a knot here and cut the thread and secure the loose ends in their respective shades see our beautiful back strap the textured back strap is ready i loved working it with you i hope you love the tutorial have fun learning have fun crocheting see you next time